Um, if I'm going to get the answer right or wrong, like I would be, I don't know, sort of scared, I don't know. I don't know. Limited time and anxiety can be a tricky combination for students to deal with. It prevents learning from occurring and places students at the bottom of a tough uphill battle to overcome their stresses. Fortunately, there are entry points for students that allow them to feel safe and not be restricted by anxiety that work well with the increase of time. Most importantly, I've found that there's a lack of um, stress. There's a lot less stress going on, for example, and more completion of the problems. For example, when um, we were working with composing and decomposing 2D shapes, um, I found it was frustrating at first um, if there was a small amount of time, but once students had um, increased amount of time to play with the shapes and to make mistakes, um, and then learn from them and reflect on them, they were able to compose a lot more shapes than they had originally been able to come up with. Um, and the anxiety decreased and they found it more pleasurable to move the shapes around. Whereas if they had just had a period to play and they never got to consolidate that, um, they would have had a lot more anxiety towards it. I've also found for warm-ups that the amount of participation in my class has gone up so their thumbs is their indicator. Um, and at the beginning of the year, I didn't have much response for their mental math strategies or strengths at the beginning of the year. Um, the more that I started to give them more wait time and giving them time to chat with a partner before reflection as well, the more that the thumbs went up in the classroom. Um, and some of those quiet talkers then became more active. Sufficient wait time, coupled with multiple opportunities, lay the groundwork for students to feel safe and that they have an equitable chance in learning. Children who rely more heavily on working memory when solving math problems are most impacted by math anxiety because of worries about the situations deplete or interfere with the cognitive resources that support their math performance. I think when, like if I don't get a question and then it, that kind of makes my anxiety like go higher, but then when I ask, ask someone about it and then they try to like help and like um, try to like help and like put me at ease with the question, it like kind of like helps me and it like brings my anxiety down because I'm more calm and I understand the question more. I think that if you have multiple days to like figure it out, because like with me, when we did the, the mean, the mode, the mean, the median, and the mode um, I didn't understand it at first but then after Miss Greenham gave me like a few days to like think about it and figure out what each one of them meant it helped a lot because if she gave me like an assessment about it right on the first day that I learned about it I wouldn't understand it all because she didn't get because she didn't give me enough time to let the the, the meanings like process I saw a lot of decrease in anxiety in most of the students, not just my students of wonder, but in almost all the students in the classroom. Because during the Minds On in Congress time, when they had opportunities to come and share their thinking, I would only pick one or two students or maybe three groups of students, but it was all of the students who wanted and they actually, they were more willing to share. And they actually felt bad that they weren't given an opportunity to share their, their thinking. And this l sharing of learning actually was good in a way because the other st students benefited from their thinking and their strategies. Math anxiety has a direct effect on the working memory of our students. The examples you have seen allow for students to become successful and not have their ability to learn be compromised. Allowing students to process their learning with adequate time and multiple opportunities and strategies significantly reduce anxiety, 
which can then lead to mathematics achievement.